Six-year-old Adam Taylor spent the day donating his toys to kids in need. I'm just going to choose all of them, kind of. Mrs. Incredible. He chose special ones from his personal collection to put in each blessing box for young boys and girls. With his mother Tamara and friend Starla. But these three were donating a lot more than toys. They are part of a group called Let's Act Burke County. The group built blessing boxes and installed them all over. Burke, uh, McDowell, Caldwell, and Catawba. All right, let's have a little. You ready to help me? And these boxes are free to everyone. You could just take what you need. But they say now with the coronavirus, they're emptying faster. You ready to go again? So they are spending their own money, filling them back up. It's about helping somebody in need. It's about the people that need it. It's not about, it's not about you. Starla Lee says this mission is personal for her. After her mother left a bad situation growing up, her family became homeless. We actually stayed on the floor of my aunt's house at night on a piece of, of foam um, that, that we rolled up in the morning time. And later in life, when her young daughter suffered from a developmental disability and she could not work, finances were again difficult. There were people along the way that definitely helped us out. So now, she's helping out as many as she can. Hygiene products are also important for these boxes. Toothpaste and wipes, personal wipes and lotions and hand sanitizer. To think that you don't have your own toothbrush is something I think we don't even think about. So as they close up one box and move on to the next, they say it's important to keep in mind all those living in the area who are living on the streets, in the woods, or even in their cars because every little bit helps. I have an obligation to give back and to help other people. Because homelessness is a big problem in this area and with more people needing help and fewer donating, it's hard. Just because you need to sometimes have help doesn't mean that you don't deserve the decency of eating like everybody else. Rose Eckler, Spectrum News 1.